Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We are here to announce the winners for the February Planner Salon Art Competition that was judged by Daryl Beauchamp or Beecham. I'm not quite sure how he says that. He is the executive director of the Western Art Museum, and we are going to award over $2,000 in cash prizes tonight. So stick around to see who those winners might be. Before we get started, I like to give a little bit of background on who we are for those that might be watching and don't know who the Planner Salon is. First off, I'm Carrie Stober. I've been managing the Planner Salon for about five years, and we are just about to end our 13th annual year, and I'm really excited to gear up for our 14th annual competition. For those that don't know what the Planner Salon is, it's a monthly and annual online art competition that was created by Eric Rhodes, the publisher of Planner Magazine. We do get a lot of comments about some of the winners not being planner paintings, as you can see on that cover. And the reason for that is because we were created by Planner Magazine, we do have planner in our name. However, we are not strictly a planner painting competition. If you flip through the pages of Planner Magazine, you will see that we feature artists articles on artists who often paint in different styles and subjects and different mediums. So our competition is also open to a variety of styles and subjects. The salon has 12 monthly cycles with different judges each month and 23 winners each month. We award over $2,000 in cash prizes each month, which adds up to over $25,000 each year for our monthly winners. And we also promote our award winners in our magazines, our websites, newsletters, and our social media platforms. This gives artists a chance to be seen by collectors, galleries, and you know just generally get some national exposure. In total, we are awarding $50,000 this year between our monthly and annual competitions. The 23 winners from each of our monthly competitions are automatically included in the annual competition, where we award over $24,000, including a $15,000 grand prize, where the artist has their winning painting featured on the cover of Planner Magazine. This is Kimball Geisler, our most recent winner of the 12th annual competition. His painting was on the cover of the August-September issue of Planner last year, and I love this picture on the right because we were taking photos of Kimball after the awards and a bunch of artists came over to congratulate him. And it was so cool just to see all of the camaraderie and the support from all of these different artists. It was such a, a warm, fuzzy feeling in that moment. Not everyone could make it, but we did get a picture with our People's Choice winner, Camille Perswadic. Lisa Skelly, who was actually our judge last month, she won the Best Pastel Award. And on the right is Robin Kaspari, our second place winner from last year. When I talked to Robin to let her know that she was going to be in the finals and we were inviting her to pace, she was really surprised. She said she didn't expect to win a monthly competition, let alone be included in the finals. And I think the same can be said for most of our grand prize winners. Most of them have said at some point or another that they never expected to win the top prize. I remember Lori Putnam talking about her experience and for her year, she had picked who the winner was going to be and it was not her own painting. So she was really surprised when we called out her name. So I encourage you to take that shot in the dark because you never know how far it's going to go. Um, real quick, I want to talk about uh, how we judge the planner salon. There are a variety of ways that you can judge an art competition. Um, for the salon, we use a blind judging system, which means we don't give the judges the artist's information. The only thing they're seeing are the details about the painting, like the title, the medium, and the dimensions. Um, we also don't offer feedback on each individual painting, and that's just because our judges look at all the paintings that again get entered, every single one. And for February, that was 1,100 paintings, more than 1,100 paintings. So there's just not enough time for our judges to be able to give individual feedback. And when I spoke to Daryl about uh, judging this month, and actually Lisa said the same thing last month, it took them so much longer because you guys are entering some stellar work. It's usually pretty easy for me to pick my favorite because I love color. So I just naturally vibrate or uh, go right to the one that has the most color. And this month I just could not pick. You guys entered some amazing, amazing paintings. So congratulations to you and good luck. Um, I did ask our judge this month, what his thoughts were on the importance or, you know, if they're unimportant, um, how he feels about art competitions and the importance to artists or the, like I said, the unimportance. And he said, I believe that every art competition results in the growth of the artist. First, it requires the artist to ask serious questions about the overall quality of a work and how it holds up against other works of its genre. It requires an artist to take a chance to let the work and by extension themselves be thrown out there for judgment. If approached with a positive attitude, competition can allow an artist to grow by looking at the works of others, knowing all the while that art is subjective and beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. Okay, now that we've gone through all of that and you guys know exactly who we are, now let's get to the awards, okay? 
First up is our honorable mention awards. In addition to our category winners, these 19 artists receive a $100 gift card to PaintTube TV, and they are included in a showcase in the digital edition of Planner Magazine and will be promoted throughout our various websites, newsletters, and social media platforms. First up is Animals and Birds. Let me, sorry, let me get that slide up here real quick. There we go. Animals and Birds honorable mention goes to Elizabeth Lewis Scott for transitions. Artist over 65 honorable mention goes to William Rogers of Canada for Moira looking off. Beginner honorable mention goes to Joe Craighead for Sunset in the South. Building honorable mention goes to Rick J. Delante for 1332 Santa Barbara Street. Clouds and Sky, honorable mention, goes to Rosemary Armstrong of Canada for illumination. Drawing, honorable mention, goes to Lon Brower for linear perspective. Figure and portrait, honorable mention, goes to Rukia Garip of Turkey for mother. Floral, honorable mention, goes to Kinsey Alexi for heads of gold. Landscape honorable mention goes to Mark Anderson for Bear Creek Falls. Nocturne honorable mention goes to Megan Whitfield for Seaport at Night. Planner Acrylic honorable mention goes to Nikki Heenan for, from United Kingdom for First Light on the Mesa. Planner Landscape honorable mention goes to Deborah Grosser for The Promise. Planner Oil, honorable mention, goes to Mark Anderson for Runoff Blues. Planner Pastel, honorable mention, goes to Bill Puglisi for Hidden Waters. And I'm sorry, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Planner Watercolor and Gouache, honorable mention, it goes to Jeff Steiner for Cactus Hotel. Still Life, honorable mention, goes to Rebecca Korth for Indigo Buntings and Colored Glass. Vehicle honorable mention goes to Paula Holtzclaw for sitting on the dock of the bay. Water honorable mention goes to Anna Bain for winter peace. And finally, our Western honorable mention goes to Sherry Cobb Kelleher for trusting. Congratulations to each of our honorable mention recipients this evening. You'll be able to see their artwork on the Planner Salon website, as well as in the digital edition of the June-July issue of Planner Magazine. Next up is our category award winners. These artists each receive a $50 cash prize, a showcase in Planner Magazine, and are promoted throughout our various newsletters, websites, and social media platforms. So first up is Best Animals and Birds. This award goes to Mo Myra for Summer Oasis. Best Artist over 65 goes to Warren Chang for Hard Times. Best Beginner goes to Susan Simmons for Tomorrow's Ascent. Best Building goes to Mark Daly for Chrysler Building in Winter. Best Clouds and Sky goes to Bill Farnsworth for Lo and Behold. Best Drawing goes to Elizabeth Lewis Scott for Ready When You Are. Best Figure and Portrait goes to Johannes Westmark of Sweden for Tattooed Beauty. Best Floral goes to Camille Przewodek for Fragrant Diversion. Best Landscape goes to Bill Farnsworth for A Walk in the Country. Best Nocturne goes to Stock Schluter for Night Ship. Best Planner Acrylic goes to Megan Whitfield for Near West River. Best Planner Landscape goes to Nick Fisher for Morning Orison. Best Planner Oil goes to Dave English for Coastal Cad... Oh, I'm sorry, that's not Coastal Cadmium. That is Rabbit Brush. I apologize, Dave. Rabbit Brush by Dave English. Best Plein Air Pastel goes to Jennifer Shuey, Spring Creek at Fisherman's Paradise. Best Plein Air Watercolor and Gouache goes to Poppy Balser of Canada for Spring Peeking Through. 
Best Still Life goes to Rebecca Korth, Rufus Hummingbirds and Wedding Vase. Best Vehicle goes to Mark Daly for Winging It. Best Water goes to Cheryl Knight for Rock Creek Waterfall. And finally, Best Western goes to Sharon Standridge for Dirt and Dust. Congratulations to everyone, to all of our winners for this evening. You'll be able to see their artwork on the Plenary Salon website, as well as in the May-June issue of Fine Art Connoisseur Digital Edition, and also in the June-July issue of the Plenary Magazine. Also, these paintings are now entered into our annual, comp annual competition, which we are awarding in May, as I said. Up next is our People's Choice Award. After each month closes, we open up voting for People's Choice for 10 days. Each artist can share their entries on social media and the painting that receives the most votes receives the award. This artist receives a $100 cash prize today and will be included in the annual awards. And the People's Choice Award for February goes to Antoine Kanji. Antoine, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, but congratulations. You are the People's Choice winner for February. Okay, I'm gonna pause a minute. I know you guys are itching to get to the top awards, but before I announce those, I wanna remind everyone that Sunday is the last night to enter the March Planner Salon competition. We have the award-winning artist T. Allen Lawson judging this month, and it's your last opportunity to enter a painting that could win you $15,000. So be sure to head over to plannersalon.com after the awards to get your paintings entered. Okay, so let's get to our final awards for this evening, which are the top three overall awards for the competition. And first up is our third place overall award. And this artist receives a $200 cash prize. And congratulations to Thomas Bucci for Port Clyde Co-op Cove. Congratulations, Thomas. I asked Daryl to share his thoughts on the final awards and here is what he had to say about your painting. This painting was selected because of its atmospheric qualities, its depth, and the overall execution and mastery of the watercolor medium. Congratulations again, Thomas. That is our second place award winner, and, or sorry, our third place award winner. And now for our second place award winner for overall awards. And this artist receives a $300 cash prize tonight. And the second place award goes to Warren Chang for Fall Tilling. Congratulations, Warren. Here is what Daryl had to say about your painting. I selected this because it is a subject matter that is often ignored and is very well painted. It is masterfully composed, showing migrant workers in background, working a field while the two main subjects, one at rest with a fruit in hand and the other pausing work to talk on a cell phone, causing the viewer to wonder why they have stopped working while the others continued. Congratulations, Warren. And for our final award this evening, our first place overall award, this artist receives a $600 cash prize and a feature on fineartconnoisseur.com, outdoorpainter.com, Fine Art Today, and Planner Today. And the first place winner is Bill Farnsworth for Looking East. Congratulations, Bill. This is such a wonderful painting. And not that the other ones weren't. Like I said, you guys have entered some stellar paintings this month. It's really unbelievable how good all of your paintings are. Daryl said this about your painting. He chose this as the number one painting because it is both compositionally well done and the palette and subject matter appealed to him. It is atmospheric, well lit, and evokes a sense of place and peacefulness. Congratulations again, Bill. I Atmosphere is one thing I've not been able to capture in painting. So when you can see that in a painting, it really just brings me joy because the, I don't know, there's just so much energy and I don't know, there's just so much energy, it just, it's great. So congratulations again, Bill, and to all of our award winners for this evening. And a special thank you to our judge, Daryl Beauchamp, or Beecham if I'm mispronouncing that, for taking time out of his busy schedule to judge the February competition. And thank you to all of you who watched tonight and those who might be watching the replays. Um, so congratulations and head over to plannersalon.com to get your paintings entered for the March competition, which ends on Sunday. Thank you everybody, have a great night.